Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today we're taking a deep dive into the boat tours mechanic and looking at a small exploit or trick that you should know about. It's pretty interesting and may save you a bunch of time, so hopefully you find this video helpful. But first, if you do enjoy Animal Crossing videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, as well as the latest Animal Crossing news as and when it happens. And if you're feeling super generous, please leave a like, it's super helpful and also helps other Animal Crossing fans find these videos. Now just quickly for the new Newer players out there, Captain, who you can find down at the dock, is of course responsible for taking you to random mystery islands on his very own boat tour. These are of course different to the Nookmal Islands, but unfortunately do cost 1,000 Nookmals to visit and are limited to one visit per day for some reason. Anyway, there are of course two types of islands you can visit with Captain: normal islands such as Gyroid, Produce and Glowing Moss Islands, and rare islands such as Star Fragments, Cherry Blossom, Spring Bamboo, Summer shell, mushroom, maple leaf and snowflake islands that all offer up limited time DIYs and seasonal crafting materials out of season which is pretty cool. Typically we have a 78% chance of landing on a normal island and only a 22% chance of landing on a rare although there are ways to increase this that we'll talk about later. Now if you're hoping for a specific island for example you really want to land on the star fragment island there's a small trick that will help. Unlike visiting Nook Mile Islands through Dodo Airlines the game doesn't save when you depart from the New Horizons island and this opens up a small exploit that allows you to reset the island. Meaning if you land on an island you don't want or you're looking for a specific rare island like the Star Fragment island you can keep resetting as soon as you land to get a different island. It's good practice to close the game before Cap'n finishes his dialogue upon arrival to make sure the game doesn't auto save. You can do this as many times as you like until you find the island you're looking for which is super helpful if you're looking for specific seasonal recipes or materials. Now as we mentioned there are several rare islands to encounter each with around a 3% chance of appearing however it's worth knowing these odds increase with luck if you happen to have the good belongings fortune. This is because with the good belongings fortune Captain skips over all the normal islands and guarantees you to encounter a rare island. So if you're soft resetting in hopes of finding a rare island which is probably the main reason for resetting do it on days you have good luck and it will save you a bunch of time and essentially avoid all normal islands which is basically 80% of the islands during resetting. That way you'll have a 1 in 7 chance of finding the island you're looking for instead of a 1 in 32 chance. Of course if you need to check whether you're having good luck or not and what type of luck you're having you can visit Katrina at Halves Archipelago assuming you've unlocked her and have your fortune read. Now there are a few details to remember the most important being that rare seasonal islands require unlocking before they can be encountered. For example you can only find the Summer Shell Island if you've played through August 31st in the Northern Hemisphere or February 28th in the Southern Hemisphere which are the last days Summer Shells spawn on the main island. The other thing is rare islands you've visited more than others are temporarily removed from Cap'n's encounters. So if you've seen Bamboo Islands a bunch but the Star Fragment Islands much less you should encounter the Star Fragment Island again before the Bamboo which can be helpful depending on which island you're looking for. So there we have it, a pretty cool little trick that may help you find rare islands along with some cool secrets and small details surrounding the boat tour mechanic. But what do you think about the boat tours and do you travel to an island every day? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, thank you so much to all the patrons and channel members for supporting this content and until next time, have an amazing day, stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.